While many of us struggle to keep our backyard gardens thriving, scientists have been pioneering new ways to grow vegetables in remote and freezing regions of the Antarctic. The Antarctic continent is known as the White Desert, but while more than 95% of the land is covered by snow and glaciers, it's not just barren land. Antarctica has been a global scientific hotspot for many years, with at least 20 countries having established more than 80 scientific research stations and nearly 50 long-term manned research stations on the continent. Beijing's Antarctic scientific research began in 1980, when China sent two scientists to explore the region for the first time. Then, in 1985, China built the first scientific research station on the Antarctic continent. There aren't any indigenous residents that live on the continent. In fact, the only people who do live there are logistics personnel and scientists from various countries. Surrounded by the sea on all sides, all logistics and transportation to the region mainly relies on sea transportation. The materials and food for the Chinese expedition team are mainly transported by a survey ship, which can carry more than 1,000 tons of goods at a time. Food is the most important resource on the ship, predominantly including rice and pasta, as well as canned food, frozen meat, and eggs. In order to preserve vegetables for a long time, they must be refrigerated and dehydrated. Thus, fresh vegetables and fruits in Antarctica in the early days were scarce items. But after years of hard work, the Chinese scientific research team successfully grew Antarctic vegetables in 2014 and then continued to improve and expand output. Since, the team has built vegetable greenhouses at the Great Wall Station and Zhongshan Station, producing cabbages, cucumbers, and many other vegetables and fruits. Through soilless cultivation technology, at least one kilogram of fresh vegetables is produced every day. The team also shares this technology with other countries and stations as well. Greenhouse planting in Antarctica benefits from low temperatures, no pest or diseases on the seeds, and no need to use pesticides. All vegetables are organic, and all scientific researchers can eat safely. However, the annual average temperature in Antarctica is negative 25 degrees Celsius, meaning the greenhouse consumes a significant amount of energy and heating the spaces consumes energy. So better lighting materials and energy-saving lamps have been created to increase efficiency. Antarctica is a treasure trove of resources, minerals, and water. The work of Chinese scientists who have learned to live in the sparse and challenging conditions of the continent, along with their willingness to share their findings with other countries' researchers, are helping to preserve and protect the area and will undoubtedly continue to positively impact the world. For more stories, follow us online at The China Current.